So, how do these outdoor sensors work? That's a good question, right? I'll explain it to you. <laughs> right, so it is just basically an NTC on a wall. So it, the, the, the temperature will hit it and it takes a temperature and it feeds that back to the boiler. Right. So if the boiler's using a modulating control, which this one will be. Yeah. Okay, so the boiler looks, it says, right, it's got a target temperature internally, it's got an external temperature, and then it makes a calculation, right, well, what can we get away with the least amount of heat to heat the house? Right. The outdoor temperature is going to have a positive impact on the house. Yeah. It's going to warm it up. Yeah. Okay, so if we can get away with cutting the gas rate down by maybe 10% while the heating's on, because outside we're getting that influence, fair play, and that's that's the efficiency of it. They're fantastic. Right. Really so with the modulating control inside as well, it makes it even, you can fit it without the modulating control. Yeah. But it's really good with the modulating control, which this has. Right. Got that. And efficiency wise then? Improves it massively. Right, okay. Massively. Oh. I'm not gonna quote figures on a video, but <laughs> it, it makes a really good impact on the, on the central heating zone. So what's that, is that weather comp then now? Is that, that is weather comp, we call it, it's an outdoor sensor. Uh, it's known as weather comp in the trade, or there's other ways you can call it, but it's our, we have the outdoor sensor and we have the inside sensor. So the inside sensor is a modulating programmable room thermostat with connectivity. So it's the it's the full full shebang. And what so does it connect to? What does it connect to? So it's all through what we call a bus interface. So it's our it's BridgeNet technology that we use for our programming. So it's all connected via that into the boiler. Colour coded plugs into the boiler. The design so the plug can only go in the relevant hole. Um, it's designed for the installer in mind. And how does customer use it? How does a customer use it? As far as weather comp, they have no interference with the weather comp whatsoever. All they've got, as far as they're concerned, they've got a room thermostat. So yes, it's a modulating programmable room thermostat, but in essence to the customer, it's a programmable timer. Um, on the commissioning side of things, the, the installer will set up the boiler in relation to what heat requirement the house needs, they'll range rate it, they'll do all the work involved with making it as efficient as possible, but for the end user, it's just a room thermostat that's got a timer in it. So it takes a lot of the, the complicated stuff that's involved. The, the, the end user is really happy they've got it, but they have no real involvement in, in it. And then they can just use their timer on the phone, can they? Yes. We are, we are control. Yes, they can, yes. So on the, on the app, on the phone, uh, they've got a, the room thermostat. They can control on the combi, they can control the hot water temperature. Um, it's got the timer in on the app as well. It will also, they can input their energy usage and it'll also tell them what energy they're using uh, to heat the house. And it, it'll make suggestions to how to uh, make the energy consumption lower. Um, within the app as well, when the customer's using the boiler, it'll make a note of anything that's done, even if it's just turning the room thermostat up and overriding what the engineer has set. It's all logged, which can be viewed by an installer via a, uh, a non-direct service or by us down at head office if the customer's chosen to use a direct service that we offer. Mm. So, in regards to what you were saying, obviously, 